Lexicon is the best music library management software I've ever used and I'm going to tell you all about it. So head over to lexicondj.com and click try free demo. Then whether you're using a Windows machine or a Mac machine, download for whichever operating system you're using. I'm using Mac, so I'm going to download the Mac version. Once you've signed up and logged in, you're going to be part of the free plan. The free plan only allows you to import your library and use a few of the features. You'll need to use the paid subscription to use most of the features in Lexicon. So there are two plans, the basic and the pro. The basic allows you to have all library management features, full library conversion and community support. The pro on the other hand has all library management features, full library conversion, cloud database backup, unlimited cloud storage, third party integrations and a mobile app that is coming soon. So I would suggest that you go for the basic when you're just first starting out because it gives you everything that you're gonna need. The basic is $17 a month. Then if you go for the pro, it's $17 for the first month and it'll jump up to $39 per month going forward. But with the pro, you get the unlimited cloud storage and I think that's a really good price for what you get. Now let's Let's look at some of the features that Lexicon provides. So once you sign up to one of the paid subscriptions, you can see here that there's not really much to look at because you haven't imported your library yet. So the first thing we're gonna do is import our library. I use Serato DJ Pro, so I'm gonna import my Serato DJ library in. So if you come over to this icon over here, which is the sync icon, you can see that you can sync your Lexicon library to your favorite DJ apps. So at the bottom down here, you can import tracks and playlists. So if I click that, so you can see here that I'm gonna import from Serato DJ. I can either import my full Serato or I can import a specific playlist. And you can see on the right hand side that it has all my crates which are in Serato. But what I wanna do is import the whole thing. So I wanna go back to full. Then at the bottom right hand corner here, I'm gonna click start importing. So now once the importing is done, you can see your entire Serato library in here. You can see all your crates on the left hand side. So if I close all these, these are all my crates that are in Serato. Now Lexicon doesn't only import Serato DJ, it also imports the biggest five DJ softwares that are available right now. So you can either import from Recordbox 5 and 6, Serato, Traktor, Virtual DJ or Engine. So now we've imported our library into Lexicon, this is where we can use all the big features. So one of the big features in Lexicon is bulk edit tags. So all these reggae tracks here you want to update the tags for these tracks what you can do is right click and click edit and it will come up with this editing window let's say we want to update the label for this to say reggae tracks so if I type in reggae tracks and then click save you can see that it updates all the labels for them tracks you can also use this thing called recipes inside lexicon which are pre-made settings created by lexicon themselves so say for example i go into here again and go to edit and then i go down to here and click switch to recipes you can click one of these things and it will apply these settings to your tracks so say for example i wanted to change the label we just added reggae tracks to be all uppercase i can click this button here and then i can choose the field that we updated so it's the label so we're going to update reggae tracks in this column here and then we're going to change them so they're all uppercase so if i click save here you can see that the label now has been updated so that it's all uppercase be sure to check out the rest of the recipes on the screen right now. Once you're done updating your tags inside Lexicon, what you'll need to do is sync them back to your DJ library. So if you go back over to here to the sync icon, I can now click sync to Serato DJ. But before we do that, let's open up Serato and have a look at the reggae tracks before we apply the tags to them. So if I go to my reggae crate here, in here, you can see there's no labels in here whatsoever. So if I now close Serato, because you need to close Serato before you sync it from Lexicon, then I head over to sync and then if I I click sync to Serato DJ, it's gonna now sync the changes we made in Lexicon back to our Serato. So now the sync is complete, your Lexicon library has been synced with Serato DJ. If we close this and then we open back up Serato DJ Pro, you can see that these tracks have now been updated with the label reggae tracks. Another feature that I know a lot of DJs are gonna like in this software is the find duplicates utility. So as a DJ, if you're building up your music library, over time you're gonna build up some duplicates. Lexicon allows you to find all them duplicates and remove them safely. So if I come over back to the screen and I go to utility and I click find duplicates, what this is gonna do, it's gonna scan your entire library to see if there's any duplicates. The first time you do this is gonna take quite a long time, so just be patient. Right, so scan my entire library and you can see here that it's found two duplicates so when a duplicate appears it shows up the type of format the track is the bit rate how long it is how many cues has been set on the track 
and how many times that track has been played, you can determine which one to delete by just having a look at the one that's least played. If you're playing the top one 19 times, obviously that's the one that you use mainly. So when you run a duplicate find, the lexicon's quite good and it's quite safe. So it won't actually delete it there and then. So what you're gonna have to do is it will say review on the bottom right hand corner here. So if you click review, it's gonna say, Lexicon is gonna archive the following tracks. Your library will be updated and all your tracks will still work. No tracks will be deleted right now. Archive tracks can be deleted at the time of your choosing. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna archive the duplicated tracks and you can go delete them later. So I'm gonna click confirm and it says, Lexicon is gonna archive two of your tracks. So if I go to confirm there, this is now taking me to the archive track section. Then what I can do is I can highlight both of these, go to clean up selection on the bottom right, and then I can go delete from hard drive. What we're gonna do is click clean up here, and you can see that those two tracks have been removed safely. When you sign up to the pro version, you get access to unlimited cloud storage. Now, so in order to upload your song to the cloud, all you need to do is highlight the tracks that you wanna upload. So I'm gonna highlight these tracks here. I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna to go to upload to cloud. Now you can see the, the icon on the left hand side here. So what it's doing is uploading it to your cloud database. And as the tracks get added to the cloud, you can see that the cloud icon has started to appear. Another cool feature on Lexicon is the track matcher. So imagine you have a wedding coming up and the bride and groom have given you a Spotify playlist of tracks that they want you to play at their wedding. What you can do is head over to this button here and then go to Spotify playlist. Then what you'll need to do is get the URL from that playlist. So if I go over to Spotify, what I can do is grab the URL for this, head back over to Lexicon and then paste it in. If I now go to find, you can see that the tracks here are the tracks that are in the Spotify playlist. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is click strict search. What this is gonna do, it's not gonna find any remixes or any other versions. It's gonna find the specific versions in your music library. So if I click strict search and click search, so you can see here that my library has found AO, Wild Force, Tiptoe and Swallow. So what you can do is highlight these tracks and click save the playlist. Now I'm gonna rename this to CB's wedding and click confirm and you can see here that I have now got a playlist of CB's wedding with all the tracks from the Spotify playlist. So those are some of the big features in Lexicon. Let me show you a few more. So in Lexicon you can get the years and the metadata for any of the tracks in your library. So what I'm going to do is highlight these tracks here. I'm going to click use and then I'm going to go to find tags and album art. I'm going to just find the years for these tracks. So I'm going to click confirm. So if you just wait a few seconds, you can start to see that the years are going to start appearing on the right hand side. So another cool feature in Lexicon is the generate cue points feature. So what I can do is I can right click a track and I can go to use and go to generate cue points. So say if you have a system of how you set your cue points, you can create a template in here and then you can apply it to any of the tracks that you highlight. For all my intro tracks on my songs, I like to set a cue point at the start of the intro, the middle of the intro, and at the end of the intro as the track starts. So what you see here is my intro template where you see that I set a cue point at the start of the track, 16 beats after the start, and then 32 beats after the start. So you can see at the moment that this track here has no cue points whatsoever. So what I'm gonna do is right click, go to use, go to generate cue points, and I'm gonna apply my template to this track. So I'm gonna click start, and you can see here that it's loading. Now you can see that the task has been completed. If I drag this track to the player, you can see that a cue point has been added to the start of the intro, halfway through, and right at the drop as the track starts. Now these are just some of the features that Lexicon provides. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description down below to the website so you can check out all the features that the software provides.